You guys see that down there? It's like almost a little boat or something that was sunken. Well, we have metal detector. I guarantee you there's so many guns under the sand. Oh my god! Dude! 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 I got an AR! Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! That is definitely, dude, I got one of them. That's an AR, dude. There's no questions. Sounds like we might have to call the bomb squad. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. Today I've made it out to my favorite river, which is the Chattahoochee River, and we're gonna be scuba diving today to see what we can find. All the dams just completely cut off. So the river is super clear, it's super nice. I just can't wait to get in and see what we can find. And just the fact that we've been finding all this stuff recently is just so insane. Every single new bridge that we go to just holds more and more incredible items. If I find anything that's needed to be given to the police, I'm gonna turn it in to the proper authorities. So today I'm also with my buddy Johnny. And Johnny, what do you think we're gonna find here today, man? Well, like always, I'm hoping for weapons today. I don't care about nothing else. We'll get some garbage out, of course, but today we're gonna go for some weapons. Look at that thing. That thing is still alive. Oh my gosh. It's just a bullet round, but that is crazy. Oh, that is sick, man. That is crazy. There's got to be more right here, man. Oh my god. Is that? There's no way I can run down, is it? What do you guys think? I don't know. That's kind of weird, man. Thank <laughs> you. 
equipment company. This stuff is kind of cool. That is wild. That is crazy. So awesome. That is awesome, man. Congrats. Yes, on top, yeah. Maybe they just tried to paint it. No, no, no. That's full on. That's AR. That's an AR? That is straight 100% AR. That's clip. That's Are you serious? Yeah, we'll have double the chip, but yeah, that is an AR. Well, yeah, with your gun, I mean, I'm going to turn this in and see if this is that actually is real, but absolutely. I think they tried to play it off like it was... That's my find of the day, and with Johnny, we're definitely going to turn this in. I can't believe it, man. That is just, it's just crazy. Great find. Great <laughs> yeah, man. All right, everybody, so we just got out of the water. I'm going to be walking back now, and I can't believe that, man. Some sort of AR-15 that I was able to find. Last time I was able to find one was at the bridge right above this. And the police officer told us that there were six of them stolen out of a pawn shop. And one of them that I found was actually connected to that case. So who knows, this could be from the same case. That would be pretty crazy, but we're gonna take a look at what I found today. And Johnny's gonna give the police a call because he also found a pistol today. All right, so Johnny, go over your firearm that you were able to find today, man. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Looks like a Smith & Wesson. I'm thinking nine millimeter. I haven't really read it yet, but uh, it does look like it has serial numbers. So. Yeah, has serial numbers. Looks like it's still in great shape and I can feel the heaviness. The bullets are still in it for sure. Wow, that is crazy, man. My license plate. That's pretty neat. And uh, I found a mag light. Oh, that's awesome. The, I had a bunch of other stuff, but you saw that current down there. That oh current, yeah, it swooped everything away. my bag open, pulled out all the garbage, but um, this is what I was able to keep. That's awesome, man. But I found some other items here. A couple of golf balls, some bullets. I also got this watch, which was pretty neat. This is some bottle and it has a note inside and it's some sort of purple substance. So not really sure what that is. If you guys have any ideas, definitely let me know down in the comments below. I also found this bullet and as you can see, it's coming apart, but that thing is pretty crazy and definitely from World War II. And it was one of my craziest finds I think I've ever been able to come across. And as you can see, they tried to paint the tip orange, which is kind of strange about this. I've never seen that done before. Um, so that was pretty weird. But as you can see on the other side, it says SRC. And I took a look at it and that is definitely an AR-15. So whoever had this at one point was trying to portray that it was not an AR-15, most likely because this was stolen. But we're gonna give the police a call and turn this and the Smith & Wesson in. So it's gonna be a pretty good video. Okay, um, yes, I was actually calling. This is obviously a, not an emergency, but I was calling because my friend and I were just scuba diving in the Chattahoochee River and we came across two firearms. All right, well, then let me get someone 
Okay. How's it going, officer? Not bad, not bad. I came across a, a AR-15 and my buddy came across a pistol while we were uh, scuba diving in the river. And it, I looked it up, that uh, SRC on the side, yep. right there, there's a little emblem and it is a brand for an AR-15. Yeah, they, they could make AR-15s, but it doesn't, I don't know, the way it's built and everything makes me I question it a little bit. Yeah, yeah because these pins usually just have a button where you can press and it uh, yeah. can come apart, but these are like riveted together. That's what I was thinking. It was like custom or something, like someone custom built that or yeah, something. I don't, I don't know. I don't even see serial numbers on these things. I know, that's what I was looking for. I seriously don't know where but it's like... Yeah, yeah. They, they made that or, you know, all pieces. It might not be. And it's it's got a full auto switch. Oh, it does? Yeah, so oh, you really? see right there it says full auto. Holy which means you would cow. need a whole bunch of federal clearance to... So I'm yeah. thinking this is going to be a BB gun. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Better safe have, than sorry, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's, something's not right about that. Uh, plus the orange tip and everything like that. Yeah, that's what that makes honest. me believe that it's it's a BB gun. Plus the inner workings and everything like that. There's no charging handle. Yeah. There's no uh, slot for the charging handle, and these rivets don't come out. So that I'm, makes I'm sense. assuming that's that's gonna be a BB gun. Like, oh man, I got my hopes up. I was like, man, I found something awesome. <laughs> Yeah. But that's, as yeah. As far as this, this looks like a, it's probably real. But it's so corroded. Sounds like we might have to call the bomb squad. Really? Are you serious? Yeah, any, any oh, no. firearms or unexploded ordnance that we can't, oh. then that has to be disposed of by our bomb squad. Okay. Since this was all found in the river, technically, park rangers have to take all of it. So they would come all the way down here because she's told us over and over her, her uh, territory ends in Congress. Yeah. <laughs> Just as long as you guys are safe with it, like yeah. I said, be very careful with this. Okay. Cool, man. Well, I appreciate it. Awesome, all right, guys. All right, so the police came out and they just took a look at everything that we were able to find. It was a crazy day of scuba diving, guns, uh, AR-15, possibly a BB gun, I'm not sure, but I mean, it's pretty heavy, so you never know with these types of things. But if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe if you're new. Also check out my buddy Johnny's channel. I'll have his channel linked in the description below. But with that said, thank you so much for watching, good luck, and we'll see you guys on the next one.